Hey guys, the Appalachian Dave here. Uh, I wanted to show you a quick cordage technique that I picked up from uh, Black Owl Outdoors. Uh, Crick and Stoney over there uh, are good guys. They got an excellent channel. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Um, but they just showed me a new technique called the Siberian Hitch, and I thought it was an excellent technique. Um, it's way simpler than what I've been doing, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Stay tuned, and we'll get this thing going. excited to show you this because this is like I said way simpler than what I've been doing and what I used to do is just take a bite of my cord and do a quick little knot to put a loop in the end and just run this cord through there and you know wrap it around the tree put the cord through there and then I have to deal with this knot you know when I'm trying to take everything down and get everything nicely put away and I don't necessarily always want this knot here and if it's been wet or whatever, you know, it's gonna make that knot pretty hard to get out. And if I don't have something jam in there and pry it apart, then that's pretty much just gonna stay there for the rest of the trip. Um, or until I get up the energy to take it out. So what this does is, tell you what, let me get this thing out of here and uh, I'll come right back to you. All right, so now we got that out. The Siberian hitch is excellent for setting up your ridge line because all you have to do is take your working end here your short end and hold it and run both lines over top of your hand like this now try to get you a better angle here um, all you do is you take the short end wrap it around your hand like this once and take this entire bit here and pull it over and just lay your hand like this directly on top of everything you take your short end again and pinch it between these two fingers okay or you know clamp it somehow you can even do this while you're wearing mittens which makes it excellent um, so you just pinch your line and hold on to your line that's going to go to your other tree and just gently pull things tight and it will sit and bind on itself just like this okay now this leaves you a little loop tag end that if you want, you can, for a little bit of extra added safety, um, you can take a stick here and take a stick and make it like a toggle to go through here to ensure that this isn't going to pull out. And you can take your short end here and pull that down tight just so that little slip knot isn't going to just come out by itself. And then you can take this and go down to your other tree just as you would any other uh, way. So I just thought that was a great little knot configuration. It's super easy, and one of the best parts is when you want to take it down, let me get this out of here. Okay, it just cinches, and when you want to take it down, all you have to do is pull your tag end, and the whole thing comes right apart. So super useful. Uh, again, learned this at uh, Black Owl Outdoors. Those guys are super informative. Uh, they do a great job. Their videography is excellent. Um, so again, bravo to you guys. Um, but just wanted to show that to you. So thanks for joining me. This is the Appalachian Dave. Until next time, we'll see you in the sticks.